Marisol and today I'm going to be talking uh, to you about coaching. This is my uh, first speech in level three and the main idea of this is that I, I use audiovisual and that I uh, deliver a speech along with a, with a presentation. So today uh, I want to start with by asking you what do you think coaching is? Any idea? I'm just going to use another synonym for mentoring. Mentoring? Okay. What else? Can Building we? potential in a person, like making sure that the person mm. fulfills their potential. Sorry. Interesting. Nice. Thank you. Working on potential skills or helping in like, very specific situations. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, you are in the right track. By definition, by the Coaching International uh, Coaching uh, Federation, men, um, coaching is the partnering with uh, clients with a thought-provoking and creative process that inspires, as you said, them to maximize their personal and professional potential. That is right what you were saying. There are many types of coaching, for sure, and this is a general explanation that we can um, use. But usually, I want to tell you about uh, something. Usually, we we get confused different types of support with coaching, and uh, Jeffrey mentioned uh, mentoring, and well, that is uh, related and is usually mixed with coaching, but actually, it's different types of of support. Today, for the purpose of this presentation, we are going to be focusing on coaching, but as you can see, depending on the focus and techniques used in this type of support, we can have a therapy, or we can um, consult, or mentor, or, or teach, or training. So the approach, it will, it will change the type of support. For this purpose, as I said, in, um, in coaching, one main difference is the technique utilized during the coaching. There are a lot of questioning involved during the process, and there is a lot of practice. It's very pragmatic. There are role plays to, to do, and it's a lot about skills development, as you uh, have mentioned also before. For this, we, you, someone um, that has been involved in coaching before, whether you've been a coachee or a coach yourself, you probably know that you need many, many skills in order to be able to, to be a good coach. Well, we are not going to go through all of them, but actually I drill those down into four main skills that a good men, uh, coach needs to needs to have. First one, it, and it's a very important because as I said, it's related with the technique used, is the effective questioning. That is critical for the, the coach and the coachee relationship. The coach needs to um, start, conversation, start conversations with um, thought-provoking questions, um, comfortable questions, and be open to explore other areas. Pretty linked to this is the second one, because once we, we have been effective questioning, we need to be effective also in an active listening. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't work um, if we are amazing asking questions, but we cannot, uh, we cannot listen to their, uh, their answers. So it's, it's super important to um, uh, improve the active listening and not only listen and hear what they are saying, but also listen what they are not saying. That will be also crucial. Another one is where we put the focus. We are, as a, men, uh, as a coach, um, we need to be on the side of dedicated to our coachee. It's important that uh, we know what drives that person because by knowing what motivates uh, him or her, 
we are able to plan and move forward with that plan. And lastly, it's important to um, have shared a vision with our coachee. What does that mean? Well, we have to be aligned with our purpose and their objectives. Uh, so we can plan together uh, something to, uh, to move forward. Now that we know a few um, skills that we can um, improve in order to become a better coach, we need to know how we can start. Well, one of the best things that we can do in no matter in which position we are, and no matter if we are in a position of coaching someone, but maybe we wanna become a coach one day, we can start seeking for any opportunity uh, out there that we can uh, start developing one of those skills. And if we are already coaching, it will be crucial for us to set, set appointments with our coaches, take notes during those conversations, because those are gonna um, are going to be useful for us to follow up with them and track the progress. Another important thing to do is to um, recognize and note the improvement in that development. That is important because that, that is a boost for that person to move uh, forward and um, become better over time. And lastly, it's important to share that success. If we notice that the, the person we are coaching has had a great development in one of, the, in one of the, those skills that that person was uh, meant to become better at, it's important to recognize whether it's in private or in public, but it's in a work environment, it will be good because it will nurture a positive environment to um, open up uh, to more um, uh, more coaching opportunities for uh, for other people. So, to conclude with this, I wanna I, I wanna leave you with um, with a question, and and I want you to reflect on yourself, and think of all those four skills that we just reviewed. Think of which one you are uh, you already have, and which one you would like to become better at. Thank you.